Should just be able to make it. Yeah, good job. He had a TP there. Very good job. Uh, the early game is actually favoring uh, for seal. But what do you have a Lich Doom lane? I mean, Nico, he might be in trouble. Okay, but I mean, there's this DD Night Stalker that's just, uh, well, okay. They had a ward. They knew he was coming down there. Yeah, they had a ward there. How did he die to that? Just faded as he TP'd down here. Okay, Pasha, he's gonna get doomed up, Lasoed up as well. And he's gonna try and walk it off. There is a Void Slow. I oh, surely they can't keep Pasha alive now. Nico comes in close. Oh, oh, are they actually gonna keep him up? I think. Oh, that is he gonna survive? He is. The team didn't last. Oh, as Doom ends up dying. Okay. All right. Try and fight Vegas. Certainly, do. Look how many of them are here. Look at the slows out to Nico. He's trying to walk it off with the score stuff. The trap slows by him sometimes. The Doom stopping the Omni slash, but Matt goes in. Can't quite get the close. Now the chain cross. There's the turn. They're gonna blast off onto no one. That's gonna be one kill for the side of four Clovers. They may be ready to look for more. Mag stuck in the tree line. They should be able to find this one out. And this could be the fight the four Clovers were hoping for. Mag stuck. He's trapped up between EGM and Bambo. It's going to be a second death for the side of Vega. Look at this blink in. He's, he's going crazy. He needs to remember the fact that there is this Omni Slash still available on Pasha. Well, sure, they tried to go for the TP out, but the cancel was there from Bambo. And picking themselves up a third kill. Like everything just dropped right into the PP and she just explodes. Oh, we can see another fight here. Vega, they're coming in. They've got the Omni Sash. He's trying to look for something going in. He goes for the Saxon Lich. He'll take down one. Now Blade Fury Force trying to get EGM. The Amplifies on him as well as they close in onto the Bane. Can he get himself out of this one? Use the Brain Tap of the crushes there. EGM in trouble. Passion looking for the right -class. But EGM gets the Beast Grip off. EGM doesn't live though. They will be able to bring him down there with the Death Prophet. They'll get the Silent Sounds on Nico, but Nico's chasing for more. Looking for Mag. The Crush will come out. They're trying to control it, but the level death is there. Nico finds himself with your Slada. Look for the TP out. The damage is too much from the side of Vega. And this time it is four Clovers coming. Four CL. They did get the tower and getting the kill uh, actually on the Wyvern too. So, I mean, at the oh, end. Oh, they're going to get more as well. Moving in. Shane Frost comes out. The bounce is relatively nice. Not bad. Ready to push and ready to fight. And here we go, straight up for no one, looking to take the tap. Ammo will go in though with the lasso, bringing no one straight back in. They'll draw the Doom as well here. Can they bring him down, but the Golden Brace is there. He might be alright, he might be able to live here in time. Which is Cuscus out? No, they will take down no one. So that's the first casualty of this fight. They can only show him as well on the wife. And then the Fiend script now coming out from EGM onto Mag. That's a second, that's a third, that's a four. Four heroes down nice. on the side of Vega. Really good fight there from Clovis. I mean, I wanted to talk about the last fight, like not the one we just saw, but the fact that they get that first good engagement, it puts Bambo in range of Force now. So without Force Snap, he's not able to make that play. So that first... With every fight, and they're actually smoking up now. Bambo, EGM, ready to follow through with Nikwa. They'd love to find Pasha. It's a big kill if they can, and straight in. They'll get the last goal. Blade Fury was off in time. Uh, the Fiend script's coming out, though, from EGM. Oh, Everything is thrown Everything. down. Okay. They want the kill, they get the kill. They're not messing around here for Globe. No one actually gets forced back there by Bambo. I think he's trying to force him into a favorable position to fight from. Winter's Curse comes out, but Bambo's fine. The Glimmercade there, the Bell! Blowing up Mag. He just disappears off the map. The Ghost's doing a lot to fight, Cat. He's trying to walk this off. He should be all right. He's at the back of the scene. The Ghost can't quite reach him now. The Chain Frost being thrown in by Saxa. They'll get the trap slow. He's looking to move on. Find himself in the position to do so much more often. And he just feels like you look at the two calls and uh, okay, let's have a look what's going on here. Max being caught out by the lasso, drops the crush, but the fire's already down. Another kill. And yes. What hero on Vega can actually go for a pick? That's the big thing. Like their lineup is not built to be able to stop. Oh, Bambo, look at him on this top lane. He went straight in, straight into the tier three with the lasso. And again, I mean, this is the combo. Hero who can just really destroy the DP. And when you're playing from behind as Death Prophet against the TA. And if they could get Pasha here with the Fiend script, Pasha extremely far into enemy territory. And he's going to get punished for that. Very, very deep on the die side of the lane. He is very much ready to go here. Sherma, how far is he going to come out? I think the answer is too far. Straight in with the last turn. He'll take what he can get. Bambo, more kills for the tally. Golden Embrace is not going to save you here from the fire from the Bat Rider. And a mega kill streak now for this bat. Bambo. It's working very nicely for four clovers and well four clovers aren't done. There's a nightmare onto no one. They don't have the fiends grip. But they do have a pie cap. <laughs> okay. Alright.
Ambo gets himself forced away, and he might be able to get yeah, forced it again. He's gonna be fine. Gets himself back up to the high ground. Saxon was looking for an opening there to get the chain frost in, but now they've found him. And moving in with the exorcism, Saxon will melt. So if they can find themselves the lich, they'll turn their attention back to go time for the Mandy. Yeah, I mean that the big purchases, especially for this game now. Both scepter, yeah. exorcism down. Here we go. Yeah, straight up with the lasso on to pass. There'll be a winter curse on Denise, and in fact they do get off the Omni side for the refractions there. That's your Juggernaut down, and now Four Clubs are just looking to try and clean up. They're moving in, Brain Staff onto Shoma, there's a well, the Doom drop down onto Solo. He kept alive for a bit by the Cold Embrace, but almost certainly still go down. The TA trap slow onto now, and GG's cool. All right. It's too much for the side of Vega, and Four Clovers having quite a spectacular game too after the Game 1 performance. The first couple of really big fights actually just set the tone for the entire game. Like that 8 minute blink dagger. I mean, Vega even knew it was up because the first lasso they put on Pasha and they also doomed him as well and he still didn't die. So they already knew the blink was on the field. And then no one walks into lane bottom when they were trying to push in as five. Opens himself up to get lasso, dragged into the tower, dies. They manage to do it a second time because Bambo gets a very early four staff because of that kill. Yeah. Like that whole engagement just set him up to have a phenomenal game and he certainly delivered for the side four.